I'm Nathan Olivares Giles, technology reporter with the Los Angeles Times, and this is the Motorola Droid Razor, the return of the old Razor nameplate from last decade, but this time it's back as an Android smartphone on Verizon running on their 4G LTE network, and it's really, really fast. The Razor comes in at 0.28 inches thick, it has a 4.3 inch touchscreen on the front, a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front as well, with an 8 megapixel camera on the rear that's capable of shooting up to 1080p video, an LED flash, 1 gig of RAM, and a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Now these are all top line specs, all very competitive with the best 4G phones out there. And you know what, it all adds up to a really, really slick phone. There are some features that I like and some features that I don't like. The thing that stands out to me the most and the feature that I enjoy the most is what Motorola is calling smart actions. And what that allows you to do is program quick shortcuts that allow you to do stuff faster. Verizon and Motorola say it helps out with battery life too. One example, I program the phone to actually go directly to Pandora anytime I plug in headphones. If I'm plugging in headphones into the phone, I'm going to want to listen to music and Pandora is the app that I'm listening to music on. So it just automatically launches Pandora. Motorola and Verizon have both said that this can help save battery life. And well, you know what, maybe it can, maybe it can't, but saving battery life sure wouldn't be a bad thing. In my testing, you know, if I was using the phone a lot, I definitely had to charge at work before the day was done. If I wasn't using the phone much at all, I would still have to charge that night when I got home. One other feature that I like here is an HDMI out port, which allows you to hook this device up to a TV so you can maybe watch something like Netflix on your TV or whatever you want to do, look at photos. That's really nice and solid as well. Now, the one thing that I didn't like about the Droid Razor, aside from its $300 price, is the screen. It never looked as bright or as crisp and sharp as I wanted it to. I don't think it looks as good as the Droid Bionic screen, and I definitely don't think it looks as good as the Samsung Galaxy S2, which is still my favorite Android phone on the market. If you don't like the screen, it's tough to recommend the phone, and this definitely is not the phone for me. If you're really into thin and light and wowing your friends, it might be the phone for you.